I was always fascinated with making electricity from sunlight. And solar, it's the light in sunlight that makes the electricity, not the heat. So why wouldn't we want to do that? I was uh, always fascinated by that process. So we provide a, a turnkey installation, which includes engineering the project with the solar panels and inverters, uh, how it's going to fit on the roof or the ground, the electrical, the mechanical, the structural, taking out a permit, getting people in the program, uh, TVA program. Uh, we do residential and commercial and large fields up to, you know, utility scale where we have thousands of panels. Well, as a family business, we've been around since 1949, so we have the ability to let our personal passions and interests uh, impact our uh, business decisions. So I think solar energy and environmental responsibility have been of interest to our family for years. Uh, and the time was just kind of right for us to invest in solar energy with, about partnering with Lightwave Solar on that project, on our first project in Nashville. We've since done seven projects. We take components from major manufacturing companies and the specific solar comp components are the solar panels themselves. So we buy factory direct from uh, many different manufacturers. Uh, the same with the racking, which supports the uh, solar panels. This is typically anodized aluminum and stainless steel, so you don't have rush it, uh, rust issues. And then the inverter is another big component, and that takes the DC from the solar and through makes it a sine wave into uh, AC. Because even though solar has been around for quite a while, people really didn't know what it was here. A lot of people didn't think it was credible that it really worked, and um, and there wasn't uh, there was. There wasn't a company providing this service in the state of Tennessee, um, which is, you know, we're a licensed electrical contractor, we're NABSEP certified and licensed and insured to design these complete systems. So we, we started doing it and, and our hope was that by doing it, more people would do it and, and that's what's happening. Well, Lightwave's a local company, so I think that was important for us to find a local company um, that's very attentive, that has a strong track record, and we, we would just see their projects around town. They just seem to be a very strong company in our area, and we're always hearing about them partnering with other events and companies that we also respect. Well, we want to, we want to keep going, and uh, you know I believe it will no matter what because it's it's here to set, stay. Like uh, cell phones, you know, are, are here to stay. You know, there's still landlines. But uh, cell phones have gotten to be very popular. And you know, I believe the technology itself will be the reason for its increased growth and eventual domination in the industry, not because of lack of oil or lack of coal, but the technology itself, the merits of the technology, is what ma is, is, is making solar uh, to, right now it's the predominant growth, if you look at new generation installed in a quarter, frequently solar it is where most new generation is installed. The system on um, our roof here uh, co covers our electric bill. We have about 20 kilowatts and um, that covers our needs here as well as supplies our uh, EV charging. We have two electric vehicle chargers um, out front and those are free for the public to use. We have a couple of EVs here at Lightwave and we use those but uh, not all the time so it's available for anybody else. Uh, some of our clients have EVs or we're not far off the interstate. If somebody needs to come in and get a charge, they're welcome to do that. An enormous source of power. I mean, it completely dwarfs coal, uranium, uh, fossil fuels, uh, because these are all uh, limited natural resources. And the sun, the tremendous power that hits the earth from the sun every year is in perpetuity. Um, so every year you get that much again. So this is the very essence of uh, renewable and sustainability. Uh, something that, that recurs, it, the, 
the fuel is delivered for free to the site where it's used. And uh, these are just some of the many advantages of, of solar electricity. To me, making electricity from sunlight is just incredible. And I guess uh, some people don't, don't share that enthusiasm for it. But you're, you know, to make electricity from coal, to start mining coal under a mountain in Powder River Bre Basin, put it in a barge and bring it down a river, then up a river, then down a river, or put it on a train and a dump truck and finally get it to a plant and put it on a conveyor and burn it to boil water, to make steam, to turn a turbine. Look at all the energy and time put in doing that. I mean, this is the speed of light. It's light electricity. And so if you say that time is money, um, then you can't beat it because that's 186,000 miles per second, you know, is how fast this stuff's getting to us. It's, it's converted to electricity at the speed of light. It's on the grid. Bingo. So in the, fu in the future, uh, storage will be a big thing. With all the electric cars, lithium-ion batteries are coming down in price, and we'll see more backup systems. Uh, right now, it's not quite there for uh, uh, smaller systems, uh, but people out on the edge are experimenting. Some of the utilities are doing peak load shaving. And so there's a lot of work to be done in this area uh, as we go forward harvesting this, this electricity.